Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lady Fantastic here. Um, sorry, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. And then I apologize. So, <laughs> this is the third time that I've tried to make this video tonight. My cat is responsible for my first two failures. And she's a little butt nugget. And she's sitting in the chair next to me and she's looking at me with like her little face and I just want to kiss it but she's evil and I hate that she's my evil little diva that I love to death she's the perfect killer but she's furry and cute that's enough of that I want to show you the books that I got today and I want to do an I'll show you mine if you show me yours with some more hulks baby so I believe that I showed you um, uh, regarding the Incredible Hulk, the McFarlane run, which is issues 330 through 346. Now what I want to do is I want to show you um, all of the issues that I have um, predating issue 330. So lower numbers, which it's not that much, but I still want to show you my little nuggets. Um, but first, let's uh, go over what I picked up today and over the last couple days. So, I got Martian, Man Hunt Martian Manhunter number 7. This series is a sleeper. Uh, you guys, you need to get it. I'm telling you. It is so freaking good. It is so good. Oh, I don't know why it's not caught on. Nobody, in nobody is reading it. Nobody is talking about it. Well, I am, and I'm sure there's other people too, um, because the reason why I started reading it is because I heard somebody else talking, you know what I mean? So, there's word around. I really think you should, you guys should get on it, but, you know, whatever. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, it's kind of sad, but, you know, I just, I don't like seeing animals hurt. And when I see a little bloody rocket raccoon paw, it just crushes my soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, look. Let's just put it this way. Jason Aaron and Al Ewing, they have enough street, uh, street cred with me that I will buy a number one from them. Um, it's especially exciting because they're collaborating and Jesus is helping them out. Sorry, I'm sorry, Jesus Abertov. Um, but, you know, I'm always down for a cheap laugh. Uh, yeah, I, whew, this looks uh, rockin'. Haven't read it yet. Um, a little confused as to why she has brown hair now. But, hey, ladies like to change their shades every once in a while. Um, oh, yeah, there's that thing called creative freedom. <laughs> But, yeah, it looks cool. I'm going to give it a read. Oh, yeah, y'all. Hey, hey, Unruly Simeon. Wild man. You need to be here because this is another X-Men hallmark for me. This is officially the first X-Men comic I have gotten. Not been, not been gifted. That I have gotten that is under 100. And I'm super stoked about this dude. Um, you know, it's not in perfect condition, but, you know, I paid $23 for it. And, uh, I have no regrets. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. I love it. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. So this was actually, this is a Thor 700, Mighty Thor 700, but it's a second print. So the first print where there's those terrible, awful, lenticular crap covers that nobody liked. Ugh, I have nightmares about those. Um, and then I also picked up a number one. This is not like the first um, appearance. The first appearance of the Jane Foster as Thor was in 2014. And this is 2015 or 2016, but this is uh, the beginning of, like, the Thunder in Her Veins storyline. And I have a trade paperback of that story, and I really liked it, so I wanted to pick up a number one. Um, you know, especially with all the buzz. Tee-hee! 
All right. Um, I found a Detective 500, and I just thought that was too cool for school. Um, I have uh, I have 501, and I also have Detective 600, but I have 599 for it, and then 600. I don't know, something about those numbers, dude. Those double zero numbers, they make me feel... They they make me feel clean. <laughs> All right. Um, and then of the newbies. So this has actually been... All right. You know, do you guys go to your LCS? And when you go, there are just certain sections that you always check. And it doesn't matter, but you always go there and check. Look, if you don't, that's cool, but there are for me. And one of those sections is Journey into Mystery. Uh, Avengers is another one. There are just certain, and Black Panther. There are certain ones that I will never not check. And this one has been there forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Um, but then I randomly saw on uh, the random, not random, uh, the Key Collector app, that uh, it was on there for, for, I don't know, the origin of a crack or, or something. And so it was just like, all right, well, I'm going to get it then. And um, that's a story of that. So without further ado, let's get into the Hulks. So uh, ironically enough, the oldest quote-unquote uh, Hulk book I have is the uh, most recently produced um so, it's, yeah, uh, Hulk 181, um, a facsimile. Uh, this is, uh, 201. Uh, the, I don't know, he battles the Barbarian. I mean, I think all of us have experienced battling Barbarians. It's a barbaric world out there. Um, and he shall be Hulk no more. Ugh. Uh, Death Triumphant. 225. This is 1978 Marvel Comics Group. It's just good stuff. Um, the Incredible Hulk, 227. From the dim past leap original Avengers to save the life of Hulk's other self. You're like Giant Man. When did there was? There's those from Intense Angles, Iron Man. Those are Intense Angles. But I love it. The murder... Don't do that. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Um, 1978. 233. Side by side with Marvel Man. Battle in the Bay. Uh. 235. I love this issue. Um, he battles Machine Man. And, like, he crunches him in half. You know? What a... Pff. That's one and done. You know what happens. Um, Hulk smash. When a city dies, Hulk falls onto a building. 237. Oh, Marvel's TV sensation. Dude, Lou Ferrigno. I mean, that is really cool. He really... Huh? Yeah, man. For, this, for the time period that it came out, that's ace. The, the Ferrigno Hulk. Six Simper Tyrannus. Uh, that's 242, um, and then, uh, 251, uh, man, I really want to get a 250 because it's him and Silver Surfer on the, on the cover, um, and this actually, Tyrannus, Tyrannus, it's probably Tyrannus, but potato, potato. <clears throat> All right, where's the rest of my nuggets? Here's some more nuggets. Uh, 279. Uh, I think I showed this recently. Um, then 282. 284. Follow the leader. He's got a five head, not a four head. Nyunk, nyunk, nyunk. Um, I love this cover. I love this cover. Like, seriously. Look, because look at how freaky deaky they make. Let's just do this. You guys want to be edgy? Look at that. That is very Frankenstein-ish. I love it. I love it. You're not going to get that on every channel, dang it. 
All right, two ninety nine. So this is not in the best shape, but this is such a great cover with uh, just um, Doctor Strange and Hulk, you know, battling it out. Uh, 302, uh, I think that's the Black Knight, if I'm not mistaken. Mike Mignola, uh, cover. Um, and Terry Austin. Um, 303, 19, January of 1984. Hey, that's my birth. That's, I mean, I, that's, this is like the first time I've ever found, like, a comic that was from 1984 in January. There may be one more and it's a Marvel age with like Submariner in a dinner jacket. So hey, nice. Some little elves are just whipping him on his back. Well that's peaceful. Um three twelve. These are some good issues. These are some issues that man I wish I need I need to fill in more around these because they're just really good and oh three fourteen Look at all of these guys on. You got Modoc, you got the leader, you got Rhino, you got Juggy. Um, and uh, is that Abomination? I can't remember. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, the Incredible Hulk 315. This is great. Bruce Banner free at last. He's having a lot of like you know internal struggles, as he is wont to do. Um, the Incredible Hulk 316. Oh yeah, like all the Avengers have to get up on. On the Crazy Hulk, while Bruce Banner is like pretty much hey, not in the best of shape. Let's see here. All right, three seventeen. Um, no Hulks allowed. Not here. Uh, three twenty-two. This is a pretty powerful. Um, yeah, I always thought it was a pretty powerful cover. It's like. Jesus Hulk or something. But, and all the Avengers. I don't know, man. I liked it. This is another cool cover. This is a... This cover's beat to... To crud. It's a Milgram, but I love it. It's like Vision is like... <laughs> I don't know. He can't unmorph out of Hulk's body. It's a... Uh, ooh. It's a bit cumbersome. <laughs> now this, on the other hand, is in quite nice condition. And it is a beautiful cover. And it is, I am so thankful that I have it, is when they turn, they make Grey Hulk again. So they turn him back into the Grey Hulk to, like, do an homage or whatever. Like, Milgram after Kirby. Oh, so this is 324. Um, I have 326. And this is Green Hulk and Grey Hulk going at it. This is what it's like when Hulks collide. If you guys know what I'm referencing, uh, then you're uh, a goober like me in a really good way. In a very endearing way. 329, Incredible Hulk. I don't know. He's mad at something. He's just a mad guy. Um, and then I'll just show where... But, so I've showed you guys these. There's a 330 newsstand... And a 330. I don't know if, if this is a direct. It probably is. I don't since it doesn't have the new stand. But that's it, kids. Um, I'll do another one when. Uh, but I have other ones, you know, post 346. And uh, you know, it, it'll happen. I'll show you my. I'll show you my stuff again. But you need to go and show me some of yours. Uh, everybody, uh, be safe. Have a good one. Uh, and meow meow. Night.